Okay, um, this is a birch reduction, of course. Um, hopefully you guys can see that we're reducing uh, this um, benzene ring. We're adding two hydrogens to it. Okay. In fact, the two hydrogens are being added. One's being added right here, the other one's being added right there. Okay. So, um, if you'll notice, we're adding sodium to this reaction. This reaction is going to be um, a radical reaction. Because sodium metal has that, it's a radical, right? It's got that one electron. Okay, so uh, the one thing you want to know is that alkyl groups, well, you already know this, are electron donating, okay? So this is something that we talked about yesterday. So these are electron donating. So um, since there's a lot of electron density on this carbon, the, the sodium's electron's not going to want to go there. It's going to go away from there, okay? So in fact, that, that carbon doesn't get reduced, okay? So that's what you want to know. So I'm going to erase this part and we'll go on. I'd like to find my eraser. Okay, so the first thing you want to think of, like I said, sodium. So a lot of times, you think of sodium donating this electron to ammonia first, okay? But I don't mind you thinking of it just donating it directly to the benzene ring, okay? Because why would it donate it to ammonia first? Because ammonia is the solvent, right? Uh, there's ammonia in there, and it will take that electron. But you guys can just think of it as donating to that benzene ring directly. That's fine with it, okay? So when Put your sodium in there. Remember fish hook arrows, okay? So you can think of it going somewhere in the middle to make kind of a temporary ionic covalent bond, okay? I'll show you in a second. Remember, uh, sodium is just a spectator ion, so it's going to allow that full negative charge to stay on that carbon. So when we do something like this, right, we're going to get something that looks like this. Notice this bond here, nothing happened to it. So it stays there, it stays the same. Now this carbon, we could say is maybe attached to that sodium like that, okay? But we know sodium and carbon doesn't make a covalent bond, right? So what we can effectively say is that since the uh, electronegativity of carbon is much greater than that of sodium, we have this ionic bond here, okay? That's formed. Of course, we see that we formed a double bond here, hopefully. Right? And here, we now have an electron. The other thing I'd like you to remember is that there is a hydrogen atom here and a hydrogen atom here, of course. Okay. So we've got to, I mean, especially for you guys, probably want to stick those hydrogen atoms on. And in fact, I'm drawing them with the quote-unquote correct geometry, okay? Because remember, Radicals are effectively trigonal planar, okay? And of course, this carbon there is sp3 hybridized, okay? So, um, you know, you kind of want to push that hydrogen out to the edge. So now we've got the solvent in there, which is, um, in this case, um, methanol, right? So methanol's got an acidic proton, especially when you've got a carbanion, where a carbanion is concerned. So, we're going to remove that proton like that. And when we do that, of course, we make that carbon very happy. But this carbon still is a radical. So what we'll need 
is, um, let's finish that part up. So what we're going to need is another sodium atom. Okay. So we can again think of it doing that kind of covalent ionic thing. Or a lot of times you'll see this single electron transfer, SET. So you can just put it like that. Or like I said, you can make it be like making a covalent slash ionic. Whichever one works best for you, please do. Okay. So when that happens, of course, I'm not going to draw those hydrogens anymore. So now we've got, we've made this from an SP2-like center to an SP3 center with the, that. Is everybody okay with that? And then the next step of course is deprotonation of the solvent. giving us the final product. That and another NaOs. And again, it could potentially be um, deprotonating uh, ammonia, it could be deprotonating this or that, you know? So. Uh, most likely the methanol and the single electron is most likely transferred to the ammonia. Are there any questions on this one? Okay, so make sure that when you're doing an electron donating group, right, you're keeping that bond there, okay? Because why? Because that electron doesn't want to go there because there's a lot of negative charge density there, okay? Why? Because this alkyl group is donating a lot of negative charge and electrons are negatively charged. Okay. Are there any questions?